Thank you, thank you. Okay. Who needs more time to read it? Actually, I do not. You <laughs> think? <clears throat> yeah, I haven't. No. Sorry. Okay, well, wait. I didn't change notes. So okay. Let me just. Um, so. <coughs> well. Do you have a question for me? What? No, I no. just want to know whether you finished reading it. I did. No. <clears throat> Am I the only dream tonight? Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We'll get out of here early then. Let yeah. Pierre have some rest. <laughs> yes, yes. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Want to read it first? Sure. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, in reading this dream, it's important to know the context of this dream, which is my mom had been in waking life a psychiatrist. Well, she was a pediatrician and then later retrained. So, the dream goes like this. I guess I'm helping my mom clean the house, or maybe she's cleaning the house and I'm assisting, or at least I'm talking with her while she works. As the dream starts out, I have asked her what my problems could be owed to or why I have these symptoms. And she says, <clears throat> well, it looks like schizophrenia, doesn't it? And as she says it, pretty matter-of-factly, she has her back turned to me, still vacuuming and bending over, moving around, picking things up. Well, this immediately gets my attention and scares me because before I had suffered quote-unquote, only from depression and anxiety, panic, sleeplessness. But now schizophrenia, I think to myself, that's a whole different level of mental problem. And we know from many people where it leads. So anyway, I think it'll only get worse with time. Crap, if this is really what I'm looking at, then my future is not looking great, I think. So I say, oh, schizophrenia. Well, that doesn't make me very happy. Um, well, let's talk about that. What do you, well, why do you say schizophrenia? What symptoms? <clears throat> and I think she gives an answer, but I don't remember it clearly. Well, she gives an answer, and I, I can't remember what the name is or the words are, but I think essentially it has something to do with just she quotes things that are the very symptoms I've been having, like sleep, panic, anxiety, uh, and I'm already aware of these. So... I put that together and I think to myself, she must be running down all these symptoms in her head from the DSM-4, which is the version of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual that psychiatrists used in her time. And I realized that while I had thought all these problems were separate from each other and owed to something else, she, on the other hand, has seen all along that they are all together as a cluster indicative of this one thing, schizophrenia all of them listed as indications under that one diagnosis. I think that she must have known this earlier, but not told me up until now. So I accept that, and I say, well, what can be done about it? At this point, she stops working and is now standing straight up, focusing wholly on my question. Quick. But, oh. but I'm still... Sorry? You have a different version? I ad-lib a little. Well, go back to six. 
What about it? So I accept that? Did I read it? it. Oh, okay, I missed it. Uh, what can be done about that? At this point, she stopped working. She's now standing straight up, focusing wholly on my question, though I'm still seeing her from her side, from her profile. And she says, um, and it's like I see her eyes at this point, so it's, it's like she's finally stopped cleaning and she's thinking about this. She says, well, you can do really well or even completely recover as long as you have family support. And this surprises me. And I say, family support? What do you mean? What does that look like? And she puts her hands together in the air in front of her as like this, as if she was grabbing a ball or as if she were describing the dynamic activity of a unification of several parts into one. And she says, you know, a bunch, a bunch of, well, like all of us, you know, everybody coming together and supporting the person. Well, I think about that for a second and I get really upset. Something about that answer really bothers me, and I'm not sure now at transcription time what it is that made me so unhappy about it, but I take a rolling somersault dive onto the couch in front of her and flip over kind of playfully, but I start whining and crying, complaining. I'm really bumming out. Something about that solution or answer she gave me just seems so insufficient or wrong or hopeless or ineffective. Like, it won't really address the problem, and I hate it. Yes. Um, what do you do with it? What do we do <clears> with <throat> it? Okay. Don't know. I, um, there's a, I do notice there's a lot of logos. There's a lot of states of mind. Some of them are quite familiar to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it is a direct conversation. It's not a contrasting dream where we have multiple mm-hmm. scenes. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing, the only thing that I could really see was that I could ask of the dream itself or of her in the dream if that is her definition of how you help a family member, then how is she herself doing in the dream? And the answer that I came up with is, uh, well, on one level, she's helpful, only in the sense of providing definitions. But on another level, much of the conversation, she's been distracted. Cleaning is more important to her. And what seems to be missing is a warmth or a a love. And that's as far as I got with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, read the last paragraph. <clears throat> Number 10? Yeah. And I think about it for a second, and I get really upset. Something about that answer really bothers me. One. Go ahead. And I'm not sure what it is that makes me so unhappy about it, but I take a rolling somersault dive onto the couch and flip over on my back, and I start whining and crying and complaining or really bumming out. It's kind of like a kid. I'm just kind of, really what I'm doing is I'm kind of throwing a tantrum on the couch in front of her. That's what I'm really doing. And something about that solution she just gave just seemed so insufficient or wrong or hopeless or ineffective. Like, it really just won't address the problem. You're not going to, you're going to, and I hate it, you know, you're not going to solve schizophrenia with family support. It's just (laughs) stupid. And this is a psychiatrist telling me this, so I'm Mm -hmm. just, who should know? Mm -hmm. How are you functioning in this last paragraph? I fall apart. I do not function well. I am true to my feelings, but I, I do not, for instance, uh, express to her what I, just, what I just thought. Instead, I throw a tantrum, I think to it myself, I act out in front of her, but I could have said, hey, Ma, that answer seems a bit insufficient, especially for a psychiatrist. Uh, if I had kept my temperance, I would have. But for mm-hmm. some reason, it pulls <clears throat> me into this... Into this very low state. Do um, um, you remember you flip over and land on the couch? Right. What's your view of that at that moment? A little bit fun, even though I'm whining and complaining. What does that mean? Uh, what part? Fun. What does fun mean?
Actually, the question you just asked me has presented itself to me all my life. It's almost like a koan. I really don't know what fun means. But and yet I used that word just now, didn't I? That's right. Um, <clears throat> In the dream, how are you functioning <sighs> at that moment? <clears throat> it's really hard to... Playfully. I did say playfully in the transcript. In, actually, it surprises me that I do that. It's spontaneous. Um, it's inconsistent with the rest of the act. That surprises me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 like I want to ask, who just did that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does that mean that, at that moment? What do you, what do you see? <clears throat> You're play acting, playing, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I like that. <laughs> and uh, read the rest of it. And I start <clears throat> whining, crying, complaining, really bumming out. Something about that solution. There's a, hey, there's a conflict between this and that. That's right. Right, 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 right. And over here, bummed out. Right. That's a conflict. Uh, what effect does that have on her? Um, I, I, I lose sight of her at that point in the dream. There, there is no response. The dream ends. I, I know she's still standing there, but I don't see her. I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm too focused on my tantrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, now, now you have a reflection in the last three lines. Something about that solution or answer. Go ahead. Just seems so insufficient or wrong or hopeless or ineffective. Like it won't really address the problem and I hate it. Yep. So at that point, uh, how are you treating her diagnosis? How am I treating it? Yeah. You mean how am I responding or how am yes. I thinking about it? Both. Um, I'm telling her in I'm telling her it's bullshit. That's right. That's right. And I can see that, and I'm not even a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It means I'm disappointed in her. Yeah. And what she represents, and all of that through the whole dream, right? right? Like, yes. Like this is her. Yeah, if there's any if there's if there's any place in the entire dream with any <clears throat> there are really only two high points in the dream and one is much higher than the other higher point. One is when she gets a little light in her eyes explaining things. She likes to do that. Mm -hmm. So she comes alive at that point. But a obviously much higher point in the dream is when I take a flip on the couch. Because that's the only... See, yeah. stay with the diagnosis, right? She's saying, what's the, what are the consequences? What's the therapy? What's the therapy that will overcome the schizophrenia? <laughs> She's saying... Well, she's not even that clear about what the therapy no, no, is. No, no, just use the dream. But, you know, everybody coming together and supporting the person. In, in the, the family. In the family, yeah. So it should be family, unity, come on. Yeah. 
coming together. Yeah. Is that taking place before any of the scenes that came before or 10? Nope. No. That's like asking, like that's her prescription. How well does she follow her own prescription? Yeah. No, she's vacuuming the house while I'm having a serious conversation with her. What does that mean? In the terms of the dream. If this is the solution... It means that she's a hypocrite. Because? She doesn't follow her own prescription for family health. Uh, <clears throat> does it follow from she's, your she's, description of yourself? That that's what happens when she doesn't get the family together in a unity? Remember your, your analysis? Come on, so I'll that, take so the last that, term first. So sleepless, right? Sleepless. Uh, sleepless, panic, anxiety. Panic. Mm-hmm. All these symptoms that are uncomfortable to live with. But what does that mean if she is doing what she's what is going on? Then she's not coming together as a unity, the family coming together. That's right. Could that in fact produce this? Yeah, so the very answer is her. Is her. Yeah. And she either doesn't see it or, or does and doesn't want to admit seeing it. It's hard to tell from the dream itself. Mm -hmm. Because there is no sense in the dream that she's aware of the split. <coughs> and in that sense, you can call her asleep. She's the one who's asleep yeah. and anxiety problem. But apart from that, let's leave that. Um, but that was the, then that was the lesson. That's the pathologos, is to mm -hmm. live in that state. Yeah. As she does, or must, yeah. without really showing it so much. Mm -hmm. It must have been a state of mind she had through her whole life. That's right. And that produces <laughs> in, in you... The same. The same. Mm -hmm. You don't like that, right? You don't like that. I don't like this. No, and there are... But I'm using my mind in a different way than she is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're confronting it. They're challenging it. They're asking for explanations. Asking for a prognosis, treatment. but I shouldn't be asking her. Well, but you should, you should. That's her job. No. I already took a flip on the couch. No, no, I mean, formally, that's, she's a psychiatrist. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if she were worth her salt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, So ideally, then, what should you have told her? Get another job. Yeah, because? <laughs> <laughs> or I could have said, I, I know you're asking me because. Why? Because how can you wake people up if you're asleep? Yeah. But I really want to say... Um, but that isn't addressing her. Go ahead. Yeah, no, we've had enough practice on this around here lately. I can. So you're all. The question is, why are you? Um, afraid of intimacy. And seeing. Something like that. And why are you pretending that you are seeing when you're not? And why are you... 
What is it about um, my seeing or my joy that makes you uncomfortable? Or um, see the thing you're not doing. What does what does panic on, anxiety here. and let, let me do this. Okay, mm -hmm. look here. Watch. This is the whole thing. So going down. All right? There's the dream. It's going down. Yeah. Um Well, I want to say, what is this act? Well, she, um, she's making a diagnosis over these things which she already knows and putting a label on them. Well, she's out of touch with herself or she would have said, oh, that's funny you should mention those. I experienced those myself, so she's not being real. No, no, that's true. But, you see, this is a sequence, and you're surprised at the diagnosis, schizophrenia, right? That's what upsets you. Yeah. It looks like you have reason to reject it. Oh. But you go along with her. Is that right? I do. Yes. It's a kind of tyranny, isn't it? Right. Like, your reason is saying, this diagnosis doesn't fit me, I only have these qualities. Yeah, but I'm believing that... Be right. I'm believing that those qualities must have been listed bullet point in, yeah. in the DSM, and she's quoting higher authorities, and thus, blah, 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 blah. Therefore, that's the problem. That's the belief element. It's like a priesthood. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's like a priestess. That's right. We've got the Bible and we don't let you guys print it for another 600 years. Yeah. But we're seeing that you see that, it's a, that it is a questionable diagnosis by your own reasoning. But you end up believing her, okay? That's natural. Well, but I, you, know, I, you end up believing her. Yeah. But yet, on reflection, you don't. I don't, exactly. But I can't confront her about it. That's right. Right. That's right. Because it would undermine her whole authority being a psychiatrist. You know, the funny thing, the, the bullshit, the real bullshit about it is that the whole profession is about being real at the same time as they're not real. Yeah, that's right. I mean, there were a couple of times, two or three times that I had conversations with her once before I got into the NS and twice afterwards. We'd do a little midwifery or, mm -hmm. or some dialogue at least anywhere. And she would have to get real with me. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> one mm -hmm. time she said you'd be a great psychiatrist I said it's not psychiatry it's just using your head that's right and she said well I don't want to go any further I, I, mm -hmm. it's just <laughs> okay, no you. problem okay why are you having this dream now yeah exactly okay it looks like you're believing someone and at the same time rejecting them, but experiencing both at the same time. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, where uh, is that going on? At my workplace. I just, I just figured out how incompetent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how much more I can say. <laughs> yeah. Say it again. I am, I am forcing myself to believe that I'm below others. That's what she wants. <clears throat> That's why you're having the dream. Yeah. And that's why nothing made sense and 
un until now. Now I can see no. why they're acting the way they are. Oh, thank it, you. It's how incompetence always acts. No. It's essentially, uh, how did you define it? Um, it's the definition of rhetoric. To give the image of knowing something that you don't know. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Thank Fun. you, sir. Very Fun. Nice. Can I ask a question? Yes, please, yeah. please. You know, this number five paragraph reminds me of that dream you had where your mother knew that the, there was weaving your pants in the dryer. <laughs> yeah. Because you say, I think she must have known this earlier, but yeah. she didn't tell me until now. Right. So, but in the dream, I'm wondering when you have that thought. Um, yeah, it, it carries on the same theme, Julie. That, that dream focused more on the aspect of it that had to do with not bringing things up and the agreement to not bring things up and the power that bringing things up has and thus that's why you can't. Okay, and this. so then this becomes the other major issue. Like, she's saying we need family support for you <laughs> and yet here she's showing she can't do right. that. Right, that's right. That's right. She can't put into words anything right. to no, support you. Nor act. Nor act on it, right. Nor can you at that point, because you can't say anything either. We're frozen, both of us. Right. Yeah. Very nice. Nice insight. Thank you, Julie. Yeah. And thank you, sir. <clears throat> okay. Oh.